Coming up in this video, I'm going to talk about the ones to watch when it comes to up and coming miniature painting channels. Welcome back to Mini Junkie everyone, my name is Jarrett. Uh, when I say one to watch when it comes to these channels, I mean two things obviously, so I'm very, I feel pretty proud of myself for being clever. A, you should watch them, and B, I think they're going to be channels that really grow and, and blow up and, and become big over the long term. And some of them are, are growing incredibly fast since starting. And I'm, I mean, am I jealous? No. A little. But really, I, I just wanted to talk about the channels that are standing out to me that are really great quality or great personalities for the, for the hosts and things like that. And also give you a rundown of some of the other channels I like to watch. I was trying to keep this to channels that are under 20,000 subscribers. A couple of these channels are growing so fast that they might hit 20 by the time I post the video. Another thing that inspired me to, to make this video, and I, I know it's not a painting tutorial video, so it maybe isn't gonna be for all of you, or maybe you won't all be interested in this. Miniac recently crossed the 100,000 subscriber uh, milestone or benchmark, and he went full-time YouTube. Full-time YouTube. He had a job, he has a wife, Maybe you'll have kids someday, but he went full-time YouTube on his income. I think it's just so fantastic. It's something to aspire to. I think it really reflects the dedication and hard work he put into that channel. I still remember it when I'm pretty sure it was called Paint More Minis. I think that was the start of his YouTube career. But he's, you know, he's known across the hobby now, and, and everyone thinks of Miniac when they think of these channels. And it comes down to, I think, I would say he's like the Peter McKinnon or Casey Neistat of our hobby. He puts a ton of work into things. It's very polished, very high quality, a lot of humor. Uh, and I think it's got an edginess to it. And I think that really helps him stand out and, and even within our niche. So the first channel I'll talk about is of course, Goobertown Hobbies, which I mentioned in a recent uh, other one of my videos. Brent is really coming on strong with his channel. Like he, I don't think he started that long ago. And what's great is it's not, I wouldn't say the highest production values or some super slick professional production, but he's got a real genuine personality, a really chill, laid back way of, of presenting things. You know, very welcoming and accessible. And in one of his videos, I couldn't believe, it. I was just looking at his channel, I'm like, oh, this is a neat new channel that just popped up in my feed. And he's got this goblin video with 250,000 views. I'm no math expert, but that's a, I'm pretty sure that's a quarter of a million. So what Brett does is I like, he's got kind of an everyman approach to his painting videos. He encourages trying new techniques. He encourages not being afraid to dive in and paint things. He get, he shares some of his tips and tricks, like his painting handles and things like that. And he does that cool sort of Goobertown challenge where he rolls the dice on charts that tell him what kind of theme and what kind of colors he should use to paint. And then he grabs a random miniature and paints it up in that in that scheme. And it's really engaging. It's really cool. And I think it's, it's driving a lot of his, of his success. So he's already blasted past the 12 not quite 12,000 subscribers I have. And uh, partly I think it comes down to cats. He has cats and he's not afraid to show them in his videos. It's shameless really. All right, moving along, Squidmar, where did this guy come from? I think his first video is in May of this year. You know, I looked at his, cha his channel and I was scrolling down. I'm like, this can't be right. He literally just started like a few months ago and he's already blasted up to something like, I don't know, 16,000 subs or something like that. So very new, very fast growth, really nice production values. I think I read somewhere he might actually do film uh, work for a living, but you know, great presentation, great lighting. Uh, you can really clearly see the paint work he's doing uh, when he's showing off his techniques, etc. He's laid back, uh, but also I would say a little more formal, a little bit more um, of an expert when it comes to painting. So I think there's a lot to be learned from his channel and it's gonna be interesting to see where he goes. Next up is eBay Miniature Rescues. Uh, I think I'm getting that right. Uh, not as new of a channel, but I think his growth is recently is somewhat new that he started to really take off. It's Casey who runs that channel. I've never seen his face in a video. I don't think he's ever shown it, just his hands. So some, some painting YouTubers don't actually appear on camera. I think maybe that's smart for some of us. But so far I insist on putting myself in front of the camera and uh, talking to you guys directly. Once again, Casey has a very laid back, warm and welcoming approach to his videos, a great style. 
really, really sharp production values. You can really see the work he's doing when he's painting. Um, he's got lots of great techniques to share. He loves Screaming Bell. And now that I think about it, I think I'm gonna pick up a pot of that just because he likes it so much. And I gotta see what it, what the fuss is all about. Some of my older GW medals have not survived well. I, I'm not a super huge fan of how they last in the pot, but we'll give it a try. I think what really stands out for eBay Miniature Rescues is in the title, it's that he takes, you know, neglected or not so hot work in terms of miniatures people send them to him or he buys them on ebay i don't think he really has to buy anymore because i'm pretty sure people are sending him all kinds of, of models to, to restore or rescue he takes them he either strips them down or paints right over i think mostly he strips them down and then he paints them up into something that looks great and it's always fun to watch something that is kind of garbage no offense to whoever sends these in or it was literally garbage in the case of the Sisters of Battle vehicle that was sent by Brent. Uh, he restores it into something that looks really fantastic and often with um, interesting choices of colors and things like that. So I'm pretty sure that's another channel that, well, it is growing really fast and I think it's going to just continue from here. Two Brushes, One Cup is probably the best name for a painting channel I have or ever will here. I don't know the gentleman's name who runs that channel. He's got an accent. I think, I'm guessing he's Polish. I hope he's Polish so I'm not offending anyone. Um, he sounds a lot like By Painted. I don't know if any of you remember that channel. He was really big for a while and then he sort of vanished, which is weird and I hope he's doing okay. So very similar style, nice laid back. The accent is fun to listen to. Really, really sharp production values as always. I think when it comes to painting channels, the crisp, sharp, high res, you know, shots of the actual painting are super important. It's something I still am struggling to get right to keep it, the painting in the frame and things like that. So. This fellow's definitely mastered that. He does have, okay, well, he's very skilled. That is clear. His techniques are super interesting and he's producing beautiful work. I'd say his pace of posting videos and, and subsequently his pace of subscriber growth is a little slower. So I think he's still sub 10,000 uh, subscribers, but definitely one to watch and definitely check out his videos if you haven't. Sword and Steel, where did these two ladies come from? All of a sudden they appeared on my feed. I'm, I'm guessing it was due to Warcry uh, because they did some unboxings and some some battle reports and obviously Warcry is pretty popular as a topic right now with it being the new hotness. I'm fairly certain they're in Canada, uh, in Newfoundland, which is cool because we know Canadians are awesome, right? Like anything that's Canadian, automatically pretty cool. I think this channel is gonna be big for a couple reasons. One is they're, they're really just making great content. When they're, they're very knowledgeable about the games they're talking about when they do unboxings or you know, even Battle Tome reviews and things like that. They know what they're talking about and it's interesting to hear their opinions. So their names are Melody and Naomi and what's interesting about them is their personalities are very distinctive and interesting and engaging but also quite different. So Melody I would say is very animated, very happy, <laughs> very enthusiastic and Naomi is a bit more reserved and you get almost an odd couple effect from that. That's really fun to watch. It's good to see them play off each other. I'd say it's more of a gaming channel than a painting channel but because I've been enjoying it, their hobby content, um, I thought I'd include it here. And again, I think they're gonna grow really fast. They've already, I think their subs have just ramped up in the last um, couple weeks since they've started the Warcry content. Another one I wanna include is Ayla13. This is Jenna in Australia. I've been watching her channel for a while. She's another one who, her, her actual pace of posting new videos, uh, and, and I guess as a result, her sub count is, I, slower and slower growing um still under 10k but but very engaging personality always nice to listen to a, an accent like an australian accent very talented and shares a lot of great techniques what i find interesting about her um approach is her videos are fast she's like i painted this this way this this way this with this way and, like, and you got to keep up with her or she's just gonna, not going to slow down she just keeps going till it's finished and it's a great final result. Four shoes with cold steel and then washed it with null oil. I painted the hooves with a mix of Rekhoff Flesh, Screaming Skull and Abaddon Black. I painted streaks on the hooves with the same mix but with less black. Kind of refreshing if I'm honest because sometimes it's hard to sit through like a, a two hour painting video. Hers is very quick but teaches a lot of interesting um, techniques and, and how to get some good results. So I definitely am keeping an eye on her channel and it's always nice to see when she posts new content. It's just not super fast. Also, I think the clips I took are lower res and I couldn't seem to get 
her videos to play at 1080p, I'm sure it's my fault. So apologies if this is low res coverage that I'm showing. Zat Cascagoon Games? I'm not sure. Maybe it's just Zat Cascagoon. And that is quite a mouthful of a name, but I still wanted to include this channel here. I don't know this gentleman's name either. I don't know where he's from, and he does not ever appear on camera from what I have seen. However, his work is really distinctive. He has a very dark and gritty style that I think is really cool and I really appreciate. In fact, he runs a site called uh, Grim Dark Compendium, I think, where he's got a lot of content uh, available through uh, fees and subscriptions and things like that. But he also posts free content on YouTube. And I like his style, like I said, it's fast, but it creates really striking results. And what he does is he uses a lot of things like oils and enamels and AK Interactive products to get really cool effects very quickly. Often it involves applying some of this stuff, like maybe the streaking grime and removing it with uh, mineral spirits and things like that. Really, really cool techniques. I'm all about learning new techniques. So you don't necessarily watch his channel to say, how do I paint this exact model? You watch his channel to pick up on techniques that you can then apply to other models. Unless you just want to paint what he painted. That's fine too. I think he's still hovering around 10K subs. I could be wrong, um, but I think he will grow as more and more people become aware of his channel. Very cool channel and one to check out. So that's a quick list of the smaller channels that I think are going to blow up or are in the process of blowing up as I record this video. And they're the ones that I'm watching my subscription feed for because I'm really enjoying every time they post a new video. That said, I thought I'd also flesh out my subscription list in terms of the other channels I like to watch. Maybe not. I don't watch every single video they post because some of these channels are very prolific and I'm talking about Gorilla Miniature. What are they called again? Gorilla Miniature Games. <laughs> Sorry, Ash. But I'm not going to show long clips or talk at length. I'll just run through these fairly quickly. Sonic Sledgehammer, Cujo Painting, Rob Paints Models, Gorilla Miniature Games, Orc Painter Nerd, Pete the Wargamer, of course, Dr. Faust's Painting Clinic, and of course, the legendary Sarastro's Painting. Okay, guys, that's it. Comment below and let me know which of these are your favorites, which of these you're excited about, which of these you hadn't heard about, and maybe even some channels that I am missing. I am sure there are a few that I'm missing. I couldn't name them all. Like, there are, you know, Tabletop Minions, there's there's all kinds of channels for sure. So I just wanted to call it a few that I tend to focus on, but especially the smaller ones, I'm really interested in hearing the ones that you guys are finding that are really standing out as having a lot of potential and adding a lot of value to the hobby community. And hey, if you're interested in more hobby content, well, actual hobby content, I will probably eventually post something like that. So click the subscribe button and the bell notification to find out when I do that. And if you found this video interesting and want to spread the word about these channels, make sure you like and share and tell your friends about it so we can get these channels growing even faster.